Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. Today's verse comes from Amos 4 and 12. Therefore, this is what I will do to you, Israel, and become I will do it. Do this to you, Israel, prepared to meet your God. Topic, are you prepared? The memory verse for this particular week was Romans 12 and 10. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourself. Every week I will post a different or announce a different memory verse. These memory verses are exclusive to y'all, so y'all can, um, so we all can memorize a verse of the week. Romans 12 and 10. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourself. Thoughts. Are you prepared? Usually where I'm from, a specific time of the year, we deal with hurricanes. So we will see people run to the store and get food and water. Even when the pandemic happened, you have seen people get so much water and tissue that the stores couldn't hold it on the shelves. Still, these are people that were trying to get prepared for the storm or for something they didn't understand. A lot of times people prepare out of fear, out of not knowing. A lot of people prepare because they don't want to be ever without. Are you prepared? The prophet tells us, tells us the people, the prophet tells the people to be prepared to meet their maker. Are you prepared to see God? If you die today, where will you head to? Just because you're a Christian doesn't mean you're going to heaven. Some of us like to wear the title because we don't want others to know we aren't who we say we are. And some of us wear the mask of a Christian just at, just so we can fool others. But why why put on such an act for people that has no heaven or hell? to place you in. Matthew 24 and 44 says, therefore you also must be ready for the son of man is coming at an hour you may not expect. Just like we have auto insurance. We never know when we will have a wreck, but we have auto insurance to cover our vehicles. So when we do have a wreck, we can have someone to help us fix our vehicles. Well, their insurance will be out of a lot of money because we didn't have, didn't take the extra precaution to be prepared. It's just like our life in heaven. Jesus says in this verse that we don't know when Jesus is coming back. We don't know the hour either because we don't know just like a car wreck. We must be prepared at all times to make sure we are prepared. We must constantly check our hearts. Psalms 51 and 10. Pray to me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Repent. First John 1, 9, if you confess your, our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Put on the whole armor of God, Ephesians 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Study our word, 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show yourself approved and to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And pray at all times, Romans 12 and 12. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. These are the things we must do to ensure we are prepared for the Lord. By doing these things, we are constantly staying in the presence of the Almighty God. Are you prepared? Looking over our day-to-day routine and regimen, do you fit in time with God? Not just a few seconds, not 10, 15 minutes, but are you longing to spend time with God? The problem is a lot of people haven't fallen in love with their maker. They see him as a person that, that watches and answers requests, and he's more than that. He's more than that, friends. He's more than just someone sitting and watching us suffer. He's more than someone that watches us play out our lives the way we want. He's a God that loves us so deeply that he's willing to tell us to prepare so we won't perish. He loves us so much. He gives us the tools to succeed in our Christian walk. And he makes he makes sure we are prepared in every way, in every step of the way. He even warns us of Satan seeking to destroy us. He even warns us of people not liking us. He tells us it tells us it in a very easy and delicate way. With everything he tells us, are you prepared? Proverbs 6, 6 8. Go to the ant, O sluggard. Consider her ways. Be wise. While any chief, officer, ruler, she prepares her, her bread in summer and gather her food in the harvest. We are told in Proverbs about ants, how they prepare in the summer for winter. If ants can prepare and are being warned to prepare, why haven't we taken this command or warning seriously? Why have we brushed it off until another day? Why have we refused to get ready? Why have we ignored it? It's because we think that God is going to let us in the kingdom of God because of our looks or money or that we let 
or he will let us in because of our family or the large following that we have that's following us on Twitter or Facebook or, or Instagram or TikTok or because we run a major company. I must tell you, I'm charged to tell you, God doesn't care about any of that. If we haven't taken the necessary precautions to prepare, we will perish. We will be lost. And a lot of people say, why would a loving God send people to hell? No, he doesn't send us there. We send ourselves. Billy Graham. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help us to prepare for you. Help us be mindful of our day. And check to see where we are with you. Father, help us understand that this world isn't meant to last forever. This world won't last forever and the things we collect won't last forever. Neither will it help us to understand that the only thing that will last forever is your love. And we thank you for it. We thank you for warning us and helping us through. Father, we ask you to change the conditions of our heart and mind, change our views in life, change everything that's not like you. Father, we decree and declare victory over our sins. We decree and declare victory over our addictions. We decree and declare that we are free from our biggest trauma. Father, we thank you for the victory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Reference, Proverbs 24 and 27. Prepare your work outside. Get everything ready for yourself in the field. And after that, build your house. Proverbs 24, 27. 1 Peter 3, 15. But in your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a de defense to anyone who asks you for a reason, for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. 1 Peter 3, 15. Luke 21, 36, but stay awake at all times, preparing that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the Son of Man. Luke 21, 36. Further reading, Leviticus 13, Genesis 33, and Joshua 19. So today, I hope that the Holy Spirit spoke to you. I hope you understand what the Holy Spirit was trying to convey to us today. We must be prepared. When we lay down at night, we don't know whether we're waking up. When we go out to our cars, go to our jobs, we don't know if we're coming back home. But the one thing we can rest assured is when we put in the time with God and we meditate, we pray, we read our Bible, when we put on the full armor of God and we truly believe that he died, that Jesus died and rose again, we will be saved and we will go to heaven if our heart is in the right place. So today, if you aren't prepared and you're not spending time in the Lord, please be prepared. The Holy Spirit is asking us to get prepared. Wherever you are today, I hope you have a great day. And I hope you consider and think about what you're doing in your life. And if your regimen speaks of God, ours doesn't speak of what you want. 